gonna do the walking test. I've forgotten what I ordered. <laughs> beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time clicking on any of my videos very well welcome my name is josephine i'm a 24 year old girl from sweden and post fashion content three times a week so you might want to consider subscribing right uh guys this is how huge the bag is. I actually can't remember what I ordered, which is weird because it was a week ago. But I've been doing so much prepping for Black Friday, creating lists, and also prepping for so much uh, Christmas and like YouTube content that I'm gonna put out. So I don't know. This feels like I ordered it like literally a month ago, but it was just a week ago. Get your snacks and your cup of tea and get cozy and comfy, maybe watching this on the TV. Uh, if that is so, maybe put your feet up on the coffee table and just lean back, relax, and let's get to it. I'm just gonna like dig right in there and start with whatever first thing I find. Okay, so this is quite an interesting start actually. Well, I've got loads of comments on this one. So, um, this is from ASOS Design, ASOS own brand. ASOS Design do loads of really, really trendy, lovely pieces. I absolutely love their collection. They had one which was selected by someone, someone or something. I don't know, it was special for some reason. And therefore it was a few pounds more expensive than the other one. I can't, I, I, I don't know which, like both of them are from ASOS Design, so weird. I don't know, actually. Yeah, oh yeah, they're, okay, they're actually quite different. Okay, so on picture, they didn't look as different as they do in real life. But this one is obviously a completely different color. It's more of an oatmeal, uh, seems a bit looser fit. More of a like big loophole stitching. This looks more like, I don't know, your classic average acrylic jumper. So yeah, they are very, very different and they were very, very, very similar in price. I'm going to put the price on the screen because I can't actually remember. I think it was 30 something pounds. But yeah, let's, let's pop one of them on, see what they look like on and fingers crossed that they do look good because I'm very, very curious of the whole, you know, polo neck, neckline kind of vibe. Sorry, polo neckline, tennis, I don't know, tennis jumper neckline? You guys tell me in the comments. <laughs> that kind of trend I'm very curious of. Okay guys, I am in love with this jumper. Fingers crossed it comes on Black Friday or they're gonna have like a 20% off site wide because this is absolutely lovely and wonderful, especially paired together with these mango trousers. I mean, I feel like I'm ready. Like, I, I'm ready for anything I can do. I can I can go for coffee, I can go shopping, I could go visit the in-laws, I can go ice skating. I could definitely go ice skating in this outfit. Okay, loads of different options for this outfit. I absolutely love it, I love the neckline. I think what I love so much about this one is that with my pear-shaped body and my petite frame, everything, I do struggle with wearing V-necks or deep, V neck neckline like they either have to be so deep it's like a statement or they don't like it's not gonna work usually so this one is very very deep it's not supposed to be this deep I don't think so um I think it's very very oversized it's not from the petite section um it would have been great if it were from the petite section I would say but because of this huge like collar and the loose fit and me wearing high waisted trousers tucking it in I create sort of like a balloon big bouncy shape on top and that sort of balances out the silhouette sort of if you know what I mean so you can't really I mean you can obviously tell they're quite flat chested but you can't really tell that the difference is too big like from my hips into my shoulders so that's actually a great win and you know for me to be I absolutely love it I have to have this one I love it so so much okay um so we're gonna compare it now we're gonna compare it to the Right, I got this one in a size four, I wonder. And this one in a size six, okay. So this one I probably could have gone with a size four if it was available, but again, I just, I love the fit. So this one should be a bit smaller. It's a bit more heavily knitted, but what I can tell, it's got slightly balloon sleeves, should be sort of the same design, just like, you know, bigger loophole knitted, like bigger holes for the knits and, and a different shade really. Maybe not, like the collar, maybe not as big. 
I don't know actually, but we're going to try this one on and see how it compares. Okay, this one definitely does not have the same feel to it. I don't know if there's something about the fit that it's a bit more square shaped for some reason. I don't like the colour. I don't like, like it just overall, it's a very, very cheap vibes or the other one even though the price is only like a few pounds difference this one does feel a lot more cheaper than the previous one it also feels like it's badly stitched like it's just it, i mean if i put this one out i think yeah you can see it's more of a right rectangular square shaped top that's not what I'm, what I'm looking for i mean you could probably save it but still i mean I don't get the same vibes from it and it might also be if this was in an oatmeal like more of an oatmeal i don't know if you can see that because the lighting is so bright i'm so sorry for that but if this was in a more like oatmeal really really more beigey sand kind of tone i think i would feel a little bit different towards it but now like going from a really really pure white that feels so right for both autumn and especially for winter this feels a bit more autumn i guess uh, and like going into winter season i just feel like the other one was definitely a lot better but however i do think that if you are maybe bigger on the upper body or you've got you know any bigger chest size than i do then maybe you'd feel the opposite because that v-neck was very very deep and I can imagine you wouldn't feel comfortable if you've got quite a big chest with it being that deep. So this one is probably better for those of you who has got bigger, like bigger chest in this area. Maybe you're a bit more. Sorry guys, that was just my bestie calling. Wanted to have a chat, just a normal chat. Don't worry, I didn't like ditch it off or like something important. It was just we like call each other basically every day. So anyway, so I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna give this one like the first one. I think I'm gonna give four out of five. Only a four because of the quality of the material. And then this one may be three out of five. It's a lovely design. Just it. I don't know. It doesn't do too much for my body type or for me. I don't know. Okay, so this feels like Christmas a little bit, like a big bag, and you just. I don't know, grabbing things and you don't know what it's gonna be because literally, like I said, I've forgotten what I ordered. Okay, yeah, we'll roll with it. Okay, so this is, I think, a knit, yeah, it's a knitted dress with balloon sleeves from a Selfridge. I think this was an attempt, if you saw my latest days as whole, this is an attempt of like trying to pick up something that looks a bit better than the knitted dress that I tried on there. This one should have full length sleeves, I think, yeah definitely on my arms the other one had like three quarter length sleeves it was a bit of an awkward shape uh you can watch my previous asos haul if you want to see what that one looked like because they do have that still available on the website i picked this one up instead hopefully there's a good little set today oi that's leo showing his new socks i got him sushi socks he just he he says he's very sorry. He just came in to change his socks. Would you care to show us a foot a foot with a sock on? <laughs> okay, carrying on. So yeah, gonna try that one on. Hopefully, looks good. But to be honest, uh, not too impressed with the quality. If this is twenty five pounds, this feels like a six pound dress from primark okay guys hopefully you can see the yeah you can see the entire dress it's all right okay i'm not overwhelmed by it it's very very comfy actually you know i could definitely do some lunches uh i could probably you know sit in the sofa watch some tv go for a walk maybe if i had knitted leggings on or something cozy really really soft um let's see if it because you know with with being a pear shaped girl you know this um you know You've got your bum and when you've got quite a tight to dress around here and you walk it sort of slowly slowly slits up so we're gonna do the walking test but it seems fine actually yeah it seems absolutely fine okay so if you're gonna get this or maybe you get it on the black friday sale or cyber monday sale cyber week yeah i think you can go through the size this is a extra small got this one in a size european 34 extra small it's a nice it's a nice dress you know let's be honest like i love the sleeves uh, i'm just not overwhelmed by it and i know that this wouldn't be something that i would opt for because it's a bit itchy 
I'm gonna be honest, it is a little bit itchy. After three, four washes, it's gonna look horrible. Therefore, I'm gonna give one out of five stars. I wouldn't recommend this uh, for the price, for the quality. Not the best. But then again, if you're not too sensitive about things being itchy, you do wash your polyester fabrics with a like guppy bag, then yeah, maybe this could be for you. I don't know, it's not for me. Okay, let's do shoes next, just because we're on it. So this one I picked up in a UK size four. So 37 uh, in European or Swedish like me measurements. Cheaper shoe brands, uh, as a rule, if they cost less than a hundred pounds, then as a rule, I'm a size uh, for uh, European 37. If it costs a little bit more than that, it costs around like above 80, 90, 100 pounds then my true shoe size is uh size three so a european 36 this is sort of like a cowboy boot uh looking at it it looks all right it looks quite cheap the only thing that i don't like about cowboy boots i think is that it's sort of like stitches do you see how it bends back at the heel um that is not maybe like i'm um, maybe not the biggest fan oh they're from sweater values didn't even know that but to be honest i could style them with this dress um but typically i wouldn't wait seriously is there not a sip on this these are them on and um yeah i think they're quite all, like all right i think they're nice but it's not something i need it's not something that i want i'm not overwhelmed by the comfort but i do think that they are all right definitely better than most zara shoes i've been trying on okay so the next thing is this miniature miniature for very very small people um i'm actually doubting whether i'm gonna be able to fit into this one but yeah um it's just a half turtleneck from pull and bear um but it's a little bit like fluffy if you know what i mean yeah, i don't think you can see that this is an extra small i'm actually questioning why i got this one an extra small uh, but we'll put it on and see if we can actually pull it pull it off. And I'm gonna try on a faux leather trouser from Survey Various um, at the same time. Now I know that I I think last year I was like, oh, I'm gonna quit searching for a good uh, faux leather trouser. But then I popped into H&M a few times and I tried them on like a few different styles. And now I'm just like, oh no, it's haunting me. I just, I just want a nice full of the trouser. And especially in wintertime because it's so warm. We're going to try this one on. This classic paper bag fit uh, comes with a belt. These ones I picked up in a size 34 or UK 6. Fingers crossed uh, my bum will actually fit into that. Okay, so the top is on. It's an absolute joke. Um, Like I thought, it was... Like, it, it's really, really tight. It's cheaply made. It probably was very cheap. I think it was like £10. Um, but this is just a disaster. I wouldn't recommend this to anyone. I wouldn't buy it myself. I wouldn't try it on. Even though I'm trying it on at the minute. But yeah, it's just... It is horrible. I'm going to be honest. Like, I rarely say that about things because I'm quite, you know, optimistic. And I'm trying to stay positive. And you can do so many things with many different items. But this one is just... I mean, I don't feel comfortable at all and not comfortable as in like, I don't know, when you dress up and you're a little bit like that. <laughs> uh, this is just so uncomfortable, like so, so uncomfortable. On the positive side, you can't really see that. So on the positive side, these trousers I absolutely love. Either I've lost a little bit of weight or Stradivarius has gone bigger in size or these trousers they've gone big with. I don't know. Um, these are super, super comfy. However, they reek of this sort of like fishy faux leather smell if you know what i mean you know what i mean um that has happened to me before with h&m i was like 12 i was so excited i went through the h&m catalog my mum let me pick out a few things and i ordered this handbag it was kind of like a crossed leather stitching and it came reeking of like faux leather it, it smelled like piss really if we're gonna be like fish yeah couldn't do anything about it and i was stupid enough to think that oh this will probably you know wear off like the smell just didn't go away so that's what i'm gonna have to send these ones back this next one is just design once again i don't understand why they don't put price tags on that thing gorgeous design absolutely love this one uh the thing is that it is in black it's this you know this design that is everywhere at the minute i think every single high street brand does this design at the minute um mostly in oatmeal or a white or black so i'm doing them in blue actually as well um but i actually love it um it's a high i don't know i was like well, what's that <laughs> but it's a high uh turtleneck and these gorgeous like ruffled sleeves you saw me try on quite similar ones in h&m but those are just way too big if this one is big it's not the end of the world 
because it doesn't have a deep collar that's gonna you know go from east to west uh this is just gonna stay put and i can just easily tuck it in and another thing that i do love is there's a slight balloon sleeve it has got you know cinched in um and like ends of the sleeve sort of give you more of a fitted look and shape and it's got little baubles on it i mean can you see that it's like little little baubles sort of like dots i don't i was actually opting for a white one but i can find it in my size and that looked uh, as good so i just thought do you know what this designer i absolutely love let's just try it on in black fingers crossed i love it guys i absolutely love it this entire outfit just screams the josephine i wanted to channel for 20 20 like autumn winter 2020 i definitely feel like going into 2021 with fashion i want to like go back to my roots and when i was a teenager and i was really really more experimental and i it was definitely all about having fun this is it this is all about me this is my personality this is where to be for me to express myself and you know these frills and you guys know i love anything that's big on the top then just high waist super high waisted tight yeah oh my god I absolutely love it. I love this look. I know to some of you people, this may look like a clown shirt, jumper, clown, whatever. Um, I don't like clowns. Um, and I, I don't feel, I don't feel like a clown actually. I feel like a fashionista. I feel like Josephine. I feel like I'm having fun with fashion. That, <laughs> that's what I feel like. Um, so yeah, this one I actually highly, highly recommend. Even though you can feel that it's in a sort of, I don't know, polyester composition material, uh, it does feel quite soft. I do think that you could easily take care of this one by washing it inside out. You could do the air dry program. Um, definitely, I absolutely love this one. Okay, so two strikes. That's not often that happens. Oh no! Right, this is the high neck vest with ruffles. That was Oh my goodness, how am I supposed to choose between these two? I'm, I'm not going to be able to do that. This one is absolutely gorgeous. It has 60% cotton. Sure, it's not 100%, but it is 60% cotton. It really, really feels better quality. It feels lovely. I love these designed, like, end of the sleeves. I'm literally in love with it. The only thing, I think, is if it is, like, if it would have been in a light colour, maybe I would have liked it a bit more, but... I don't think it's gonna bother me actually. I absolutely love this one. Now, I think I should pop on a white shirt for you guys and try this one on so that you can see it. Actually, in both ways would be would be best. Um, but I'm gonna start with putting a white shirt on with this one so that you can see what it looks like, like, you know, how you would typically style a vest, a knitted vest. Okay guys, now actually having it on, I don't think I need this outfit, I probably wouldn't rock. I wouldn't do faux leather trousers, you know, there's a little bit going on there. This is a lot going on and then, you know, a white shirt. I would probably slide it down a little bit and not have too much going on here. Still, you get the gist. Like, you can you can definitely style this one with a white shirt or maybe a white jersey uh, turtleneck that's really, really tight, a basic like that, uh, maybe an oatmeal. But yeah, I absolutely love it. I love it. I love the quality. I love the... I mean, look at that. That's just... Oh, that's so nice oh wow you guys know that i love yeah if you've been on my channel for a while you know my white blouse from guess with like i call it the dinosaur blouse you know it does this oh i love it i love it so much and this is what it looks like if you would style it on its own i definitely prefer it with a white shirt but i think it's just because on my body um my arms look so small and tiny if i wear it just like this Whereas if I would have something white to brighten up, it would look a little bit more balanced. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Ideally, I would like to style it with a white shirt that I just showed you. Right, we've got one thing, one more thing left. And it's the ASOS design again, Hourglass Leather Look Jogger in Black. I don't know why they're called Hourglass. I think either it's um, for like the Hourglass body shape. But then again, it is uh, a trouser. So, you know, the bottom part would still be like I thought. Yeah. Really, really high waisted um, to really, really tuck in the waist and then, you know, smooth over the hips. So this, even though you're not an hourglass body shape, let's say, um, if you, like me, have a very, very long torso and short legs and your body shape like a pair, then uh, I think this will be a really good fit for you. So let's try them on. They're in a jogger style. They've got pockets. Um, they're also like elasticated like bands like on the bottom um, but yeah let's try it on and see what it looks like on all right guys these are them on now the shape is absolutely wonderful they're extra long 
and they slim down my legs just like I like it and you know they're really really comfy absolutely you know lovely I do think that they're a little bit big in size maybe and I think I could probably size down on these ones also maybe one thing that I like maybe isn't the biggest fan of bra strap um is that it's tight down here and then really really big here maybe I've got big cows I don't know what that's all about but um yeah for me maybe a little bit too much stalker but then again you know if you've got very very much you know like a lot of curves going on down at the bottom I think you would fill it out a bit like a bit better and you could probably size down and you know make it look really really nice but since I don't have I mean I got curves but you know what I mean um I think you should definitely size down in these weirdly enough even though it is a leather trouser, faux leather trouser, yeah, I am recommending you to size down because these are very, very big. But interesting enough, if, you know, because I saw a few other pieces on ASOS design that said hourglass, and it's really, really interesting if they start to make like, because I know they've done fuller bust with, you know, a full chest, and they also have the petite, the curve, the tall collection, and obviously maternity. So if they would do an hourglass collection, then maybe in the future they would do rectangle or not that would be so so cool right i feel like we're living in a time where we're sort of like starting to accept different body shapes and it is truly coming down you know and, and reflecting in high street fashion as well so that's that's so cool um but yeah these are them on um so you can see down that they curve a little bit so they're a little bit long maybe if they had hourglass but for a petite body i think that would be perfect because as you can see like they are I mean, yeah, sure, I could drag them all the way up and then probably drag, you know, like that. But that wouldn't be too comfortable. I mean, you don't want to have them sit on your rib. So, you know, when I'll be walking, it will probably, you know, slide down to there. Um, to like this position. And then you've got this excess fabric, which folds a bit and is not the greatest. So, um, yeah, I think if you're taller than me or you are curvier than me, this will look great. And they're super, super comfy and I highly recommend. Uh, but for me, I'm going to send them back because, you know, they're only a bit of a weird shape on me okay guys so that was it for my asos try on haul hope that you enjoyed it if you did and you've watched this fall then you've watched th and you've watched this far gosh i can't get my words out of my mouth if you did enjoy it and you've watched this far then why not hit the subscribe button and join the fam i post fashion videos as i said three times a week and i try to get a few extra uploads as well so if you're in quarantine if you're one of those countries that are in lockdown currently Currently, then maybe you know I'm gonna be uploading loads more content for you guys so that you have something to watch um, but with that said uh, let me know your thoughts down below as always I love hearing your opinions on different uh, items it's always so funny when people are like what you don't like that one I love that one or like I actually hated that one um, so please tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section and I will see you guys next time okay take care bye